Well, hello class. Today we are going to look at how to write equations of circles in standard form using various properties. This will be very similar to what we did in V.4 where we looked at how to write the equation of a circle using a graph. But instead of having a graph to look at, we just got properties and we'll have to interpret that into the equation. The only real thing we'll need to know is either a radius or diameter and the center of a circle. Now on this first one it says we have a circle with a radius of 5 centered at the origin. Anytime it's centered at the origin, we're just going to have x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared. Since our radius is 5, we'll square 5. 5 squared is 25. We're good to go. Again, this one, it has a radius of 3 centered at the origin. Anytime we're centered at the origin, x squared plus y squared equals the radius is 3. 3 squared is 9. Centered at the origin, radius 7. x squared plus y squared is equal to 7 squared is 49. Center is now at 5 comma 0 and the radius is 10. So this is one, if you haven't looked at the uh, standard form of equations for circles, you might want to look at that video after this or before this. Um, but it's just going to be x minus the x value. So that's going to be parenthesis x minus the 5. That gets squared plus parenthesis y minus the y value. In this case, it's 0. Now, if you look at what I've typed here, parenthesis y minus 0 squared, you really don't need the 0, so you also really don't need the parentheses. You could just have y squared equals the radius squared. 10 squared is 100. The center is at negative 1, 0, and the radius is 4. So again, it's x minus the x coordinate, so it'd be x minus a negative 1. That looks bad to have two negatives there. We know two negatives makes a positive. So x plus 1 squared plus y minus 0 squared, that's just going to be y squared, equals the radius squared. 4 squared is 16. All right. The center is now at 2, 0, so that would be x minus 2 squared plus y squared equals the square root of 13 squared. This looks tricky if you write it out on paper. If you uh, put parentheses around the square root of 13 and put a square next to it, but it's just 13. Anytime you square a square root, it undoes the square root, and you're just left with a number inside. All right, so we've got a center at 0, 8, so that'd be x minus 0 this time squared plus y minus 8 squared is equal to, oh, my, my apologies, it's centered at the origin, so that'd just be y minus 0 squared. And I'm writing it like this on purpose just to see if IXL will take it, because technically this isn't wrong. So we're centered at the origin, and it passes through 0, 8. So that means it goes from 0, 0, all the way up to 0, 8. So the radius there would be 8. 8 squared is 64. And IXL will take that if you type that in. So this one again is centered at the origin. So it's going to be x squared plus y squared is equal to, it goes from 0, 0 to 0, 10 on the y-axis. That is a radius of 10. 10 squared is 100. Again, here we're centered at the origin. They're trying to throw you off on these. x squared plus y squared is equal to, so we went from negative 9, 0 to 0, 0. So that would give us a radius of 9. 9 squared is 81. Radius of 6 and with a center at negative 5, 0. Okay, so let's do the center part first. So let's see here, that's x minus negative 5 squared. And I'm going to go back, and instead of minus negative, I'm going to put a plus in there. Plus y squared 
is equal to the radius of 6. 6 times 6 is 36. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here. I thank you for watching. If you're interested in more videos, please subscribe.